Hello everyone. I wanted to talk a few minutes about your discussion and how you, you show you a discussion rubric and show you how you're graded on your discussions here in this class for SNHU. Uh, this is Chandra Crosby's initial post. Good work, Chandra. You know, I've hidden your name. Let's see. For subsequent future discussions, you'll see something like this. You're great on comprehension, and so what you need to do is you need to write your discussion post after you've read the materials, maybe watch the video that I've produced. Those will be in the announcement sections, FYI. Read the material, watch the video, cover the assignments, and read the course module introduction. So basically, what you'll see is there are four components, four, to your being graded on a discussion uh, here in Introductory Sociology. First is your you know, comprehension, and that's basically whether you communicate to me that you've understood your work in the initial post, you know, and so you've developed an initial post. And so if you look down here, I've got some feedback, okay? You'll see feedback there. In subsequent posts, you'll be graded on timeliness, and you'll see feedback there, engagement, and writing mechanics. Now, everyone wrote fairly well in your first post. Uh, there's going to be an expectation that you will edit both your posts, and where a couple of people fell short of doing really superior work. They produced great initial posts, but they did not engage with two of their classmates. Please remember that you need, you know, for full value here in the discussions, that in addition to writing post, initial post, and that should be posted by Thursday uh, at 11.59 p.m., that first post, that you need to go through and have a discussion, it is a discussion after all, uh, a substantial discussion with at least two of your classmates to make sure that you were assessing the material. This is kind of uh, how we establish kind of a learning community here on Watt. Finally, the last point, mechanics. You'll need to use clear, concise, well-written, well-edited language. Um, you're not going to have any problems at all in really being successful uh, in your uh, subsequent discussion post. We have another one. I've been reading the uh, culture and responding to the uh, subcultural discussion post, and people are generally doing very good work. Okay, have a great weekend, and we will see you sometime on the other side of uh, Sunday. I'll probably not be online tomorrow.